Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Emerald the Quilter and today I am taking you along with me to the Joy of Quilt Show 2023 in Stafford, Texas at the Stafford Center. When I walked into the show, the very first quilts I saw were some vintage wedding quilts. They were beautiful, they were hand pieced. Um, I believe that they were pieced in the 1990s. And in the next booth, we saw these small wall hangings with animals, and I just love the color and stitch work that the artists used, and their work is just incredible. I had to really stop myself from touching the quilts because the texture of the quilting was, was crazy, <laughs> phenomenal. I don't even know um, if I could do something like that myself right now at this time because that required, those required a lot of skill. The next booth was quite large. It was the Texas themed quilts and I really enjoyed looking at these quilts. A common theme I saw were blue bonnets and cowboy boots and farm animals. I really like to see how the quilters mixed panels and patchwork into their quilts. And I also love the way that they used the applique and quilting to make certain parts of the panels pop. This quilt that is um, right there in the center of the screen that has the road signs to Brenham in another city. I've actually, I'm pretty sure I've driven down that road and so I was pretty excited to see it and for armadillo there uh, as roadkill. But the thread work, wow, just amazing. It's all free motion, it's all custom quilting and I don't know how to even do something like this. One day I hope to learn because this is definitely done by a master quilter. It's hard to tell if it's painted or panels or what it is, but there's a lot of mix of different uh, techniques in this particular quilt and I really enjoyed looking at it. I'm bringing you in here for a close look at the barbed wire, which I think is actually done with maybe some sort of um, like cross stitch thread because it looks thicker like a silk or a DMC. But this quilt really blew me away because all those horses, if you look at them, they're all fussy cut. So you can see their heads and groups of horses together. And I'm backing out because this quilt was quite large. I love the fussy cut stars and it's just so patriotic and fun. And whoever made this quilt really likes horses. So this was a fun one. I have yet to make a Texas themed quilt. I probably should make one because coming across patriotic fabric here um, in Texas is not difficult. Just about every quilt shop I visited has some sort of Texas themed quilt fabric. And the big swirl quilting on this quilt is just really fun and it doesn't take away from the quilt at all. I think that was my hand pointing something out to my husband maybe, but I really enjoyed that quilt. Now, this one, so pretty. I love the traditional star, the, uh, I forget, it's called the prismatic star. It's like a eight point star made with strips in it, but the cowboy boots going all the way around were fun. And here are some other smaller Texas themed quilts. These are more floral and then there's the Texas flag. So simple and so pretty. The blue bonnets are really nice. And there are more cowboy boots. Another quilt just for cowboy boots. 
Here's one that looks like it's made with a panel or it could have been completely uh, done with applique. I don't, I don't remember, but look at this quilting here. Itty bitty little stipples or pebbles or whatever you call them. And they trace the letters on there. Wow, beautiful. So moving right along, this quilt I've seen before. It might be a Lori Holt pattern, or I'm sh certain because this is like a postage stamp block that um, it's pretty common. So this particular quilt I remember was one of the quilts that went up for auction. And I don't know how much it went for, but this quilt was huge and very nice. And the colors of all the postage stamp pieces were bright and fun, and I really liked the quilting on this one. And then next door, we have a few more auction quilts. This little wall hanging uh, Halloween themed one was really nice. And when I had initially seen these auction quilts online, it was hard to tell like the quilting texture and how big they were, but getting to see them in person, I was like, wow, these, the pictures don't do them justice online. These are so nice. Oh, and then I really love this Christmas quilt. It's like applique and then the windows were appliqued right on top. Now this spooky quilt, I think it's called collage quilting. I have never tried to do um, that sort of quilting before where you just add piece by piece by piece on top of one another to make an illustration and then you stitch all along the top and horizontal to like make all of it stay. I don't think it's like needle turned or anything, but I would like to do one of those one day and I know that they sell kits for that. This Mistake in My Color Wheel quilt was fun. It was made by a quilter for, I think, their daughter, who was like an art teacher. But apparently there's a couple colors in there that are incorrect as far as teaching art goes. And so I thought it was funny in her description. She's like, oh, well. Well, it was beautifully done, and we all appreciated looking at it here in the quilt show. Now this one was really unique with the arrows and the circles and I, oh this one, I love anything with sewing machines on them. The applique is beautiful, the custom quilting is beautiful. This pelican is made with foundation paper piecing and I enjoy foundation paper piecing now and then because there's just some designs that you can't really do without it. And then this one, the texture on it, amazing. It looked so poofy and I think it was made with wool and it was embellished. I haven't done anything like that either. So the nice thing about going to shows is that you get a lot of inspiration. And I was definitely inspired. Now this quilt, um, on the left that we just passed by, I recognize that from a quilt shop in Katy, Texas. So special quilts. I believe that was like a $5 quilt block uh, program. And um, I remember you could purchase like the sashing and the border separate. And as long as you brought in your completed quilt block, you got the next one for five bucks. I didn't participate in it because I was like, not sure how that would go, and I had never done it before, but seeing one of those $5 quilt block quilts completely done and hung is nice and motivating. So next time I'm up there, maybe I will participate in so long. This quilt won first place, and I'm zooming in on the custom quilting here because they really paid attention to those sawtooth pieces and then the circles in the borders. And then here's another one with lots of custom quilting, that one third place. This was really special in the description. I read that the quilter's dad used to go to the quilt shop to get the fabric for the quilter. Um, and that's just so special. Something that was so fun about 
going through the convention was walking past the section of auction baskets. Well, not auction baskets. They were like raffle baskets. That's what they were called. So there was just, I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 beautifully done baskets. They were all uh, put together by guild members of the uh, Houston, the Quilt Guild of Greater Houston. And um, you could buy a raffle ticket for five bucks or a few for like maybe $10 and uh, but it was cash only so um i did not have cash on me at all and i really wanted to enter the raffle and i saw like when we were leaving a lot of people had uh, won their baskets and there were just so many beautiful patterns and back quarter bundles so next year i re will remember to bring cash for the raffle Oh, and these quilts, they had applique. This was the applique category, um, large quilts. And the applique and the piecing and the custom quilting were all on point, like just stunning, amazing. This one was really fun. I noticed that the more I moved along through the convention, the more I saw like vintage themed fabrics um, and then also cave facet fabric. So a lot of bright colors, a lot of happy colors. Um, and that's uh, an example of one there with the applique that was just really bright. I think this might be um, cave facet fabrics and some of the quilts they had like um, some themes to them in the patterns like kaleidoscopes or diamonds. So there were some popular uh, blocks that I did notice. And this one here with the third place ribbon I thought was so nice and make a beautiful baby quilt. But once it wins a ribbon, it cannot be touched in my opinion. My quilt right now that I had entered is currently being hung um, in my breakfast room. So hopefully my son won't throw any food on it, but it I am proudly displaying it right now. So that was made with Hexies. Oh, this quilt, I saw it online. It was an auction quilt and that quilt uh, like specifically was not for sale, but the designer was selling her services. So like you would send her 10 pictures of your pet from different poses and different angles. And then she would create the custom image of your pet and just um, give it her special touch. And so I thought that that was awesome. And in fact, I did see that that was one of the quilts that had sold the most for the auction. Oh, and this one is so nice. I think it's figure out what it's called but I have made a table runner of that pattern before and I know it's very common now these quilts I'm not sure what category they were but I oh that's a Bargello quilt but I do love all the different blocks in this red one and the alphabet when I saw that, I thought, ooh, I have to make an alphabet quilt to hang in my breakfast room for my son so that I can point to the letters of the alphabet as he's there with us. And then in this booth, that red quilt was stunning. It had like what looked like metallic gold on top of the black fabric and it all blended so well it had some asian vibes to it and it was really unique i didn't see anything else like that at the show this one was simple and beautiful nine patches uh, everyone's made nine patches, but what was really nice about that quilt was the time the quilter took to put those borders together and make the stripes match. I think that's called a mil miltered edge, or I forget what it's called, but it takes a lot of work to do that, so kudos to the quilter who took the time to make those corners match with stripes. Now this... Don't fence it at us in quilt. Um, I have seen, I had seen like maybe three of 
quilts that use that technique where you like fussy cut part of a panel um, many times to make a hexagon and then on top of the panel you then put the hexagons around it to sort of like blend the fabric outwards. Oh, and here's one of those K facet quilts that I mentioned. A lot of pinks, a lot of yellows, a lot of greens and purples. Really pretty. There's another one, diamonds, big florals. That one won third place. And I think I had seen two of that quilt pattern um, there at the convention. I don't own any K facet fabrics. It's so hard to choose because they're all so pretty, but one day I will start adding that designer's fabrics to my stash. Something else I wish I had better prepared for were the vendors that were at the convention. There were so many vendors and they, a lot of them brought like actual bolts of fabric and tons and tons of patterns. I saw fat quarters, um, Gimmel, and um, another long arm company came out. So there was like long arm set up, there was a little sewing machine station, there was a vendor to sell like the, um, that sewing chair where like on the seated part, you can lift it up and there's a hidden compartment. I own one of those and I can say, that it is really comfortable and good on your lower back when you're sewing for many long hours. And they were like giving away bags and um, so you could pick one, pick one up uh, if you listen to their little um, pros of their chairs that they were selling. And there was just a ton of vendors and not just for quilting, for bags and parts for purses you know bags already made and if you wanted to make your own purse they had the materials and if you wanted to work on um, a quilt with embellishments they had all kinds of embellishments beads and lace and different types of those thicker threads like silk and beautiful beautiful um, I actually this Astros quilt in the orange and yellow I saw the quilter I'm pretty sure it was her she was taking a picture with her quilt and I wanted to say, oh, I love your quilt, but <laughs> I got nervous. There were a lot of quilters um, at the convention who were wearing a little yellow ribbon on their shirt. I was also given one and it says, I have a quilt in the show. And when I saw them, I was like, oh, at the front desk, do I get to get to wear one of those too? And they're like, yeah, you get to wear one. And so that was, that was exciting and we all gave each other a smile when we walked past one another. This quilt was awesome. It was quilted with embroidery thread and the embroidery thread was glittery and it just made those skyscrapers really come forward. These quilts were also beautiful. They had unique shapes to them. And they were of all different colors. The one that's on the most right here, you're gonna see with the blue ribbon. I'm thinking that that was made with English paper piecing. I don't know how long that took, but I have been working on the same EPP pattern for, I don't know, three years, and I barely made any progress because it's just something I whip out only once in a while. Now these quilts were, um, I think, and some, like the one on the right was more modern, then this one here in the center had K-facet fabrics, and I think that might be uh, a pattern I've recognized before from either Fat Quarter Shop or um, another very popular designer that does a really great job of blending the fabrics. Now, this quilt was stunning. The free motion quilting was like a quarter inch apart, so it was very dense. And here's another one of those diamond quilts. And each one of those diamonds pieces, they were done individually. They were not done um, in long strips and then cut into smaller pieces. So we are coming towards the end of the convention. And up next, you will see the booth with Michael in it. And I was so excited 
to find my quilt. It was like going through a maze and I wish that I had been able to capture everybody's quilt because all the quilters did such a beautiful job and you can see how much love and hard work everyone put into their quilts to make this show happen. That's my quilt there on the left with the blue ribbon and the blue trees. Again, it was called uh, Blue Spruce by Edita Sitar of Laundry Basket Quilts. And I had so much fun making it. Oh, and I love this little tiny wall hanging that one second place. The fish, the large fish is so fun. But it was just so great and so fulfilling to see that my first quilt that I had ever entered into the show, the first of show category won a ribbon. So I made sure to take pictures with it and with my family. And I look forward to working on the quilt for the next show I enter. So thank you so much for coming along with me on this show. And hopefully I'll see you again at the Joy of Quilt Show in 2024. Um, and please remember to like and subscribe if you like my videos so that I can continue bringing more and I'll see you next time. Bye!